Trent, what do you tell a guy like Kofi about how tough it is playing Mackey and how you have to adjust? Um, I mean, we, we've been telling him all week. I mean, telling everyone it's the loudest, you know, arena to play in in, in the conference. Me personally, I think it is. Um, you know, the fans are just hackling on you. They're just right above you. They're right there. On the, I mean, they're just so close to you. Um, you can just you feel how loud it is in your heart. So, um, you know, we just got to create an environment in here today where, you know, we're going to be able to take a few punches and respond. You have to tune that out. Is that something you have to consciously think about not paying attention to? For sure. Uh, I mean, that, you should do that every game. Uh, on the road, I mean, there's no – I mean, everyone's against you. So, you got to, you know, stay – you got to figure out how to stay together. Uh, like I said, take take a few punches and respond and just, you know, continue to just stay locked in throughout the uh, 40, 40 minutes of the game. How much is what you did at Maryland, almost winning there and then beating Wisconsin, which has been a rare thing at home, give you confidence to go into this game? Oh, it was a lot of confidence. Um, you know, um, I think we've been really good on the road this, this year um, in Big Ten play. Um, you know, playing in those big games and all those environments, uh, it helps you. So um, being able to be, uh, get, get a win in Wisconsin, uh, being right there with Maryland, um, it's just, just only confident boost. So, um, you know, we just got to go in there tomorrow with that mindset uh, to, to go in there and be ready to fight. So, What kind of adjustments are you thinking about, given that Purdue probably will shoot better than they did when they were here? Uh, we know it's not going to be the same game. Um, you know, we've been, coach been screaming at us all week. It's going to be a dog fight. So, you know, we, I guess we held them, you know, to the worst shooting percentage uh, in, in uh, Illinois history. So, um you know, we know it's going to be a dog fight tomorrow. They're, they're, they're coming for us, so we just got to be be ready and take a lot of punches. Mm-hmm. What do you like about what you guys did defensively? I mean, they didn't shoot well, but you guys had a hand on that, too. What, what do you like about what you did defensively? Uh, I thought we did a great job just, you know, just being locked in and dialed in on our um, on their plays. Everyone was, you know, really locked in on the scouts. Uh, we, we, we played everyone to their, to, their, uh, to their weaknesses, and, you know, we just kind of stayed with that throughout the, the whole, whole game. And we know, like I said, we just followed the scout. And everyone was just really dialed in on defense, so it helped us. How much does it help that the game was only a couple of weeks ago? That maybe some of that's still fresh in your mind of, of how to scout them. Oh, it helps a lot. You know, um, you know, I still remember the plays that they run. Um, so it's kind of easy, you know, just to figure it out on uh, out there on the court. Um, only thing it is, it, it's not even going to be about plays or execution. It's going to be about who's going to be able to take take the uh, the punches and respond. So you know, it's going to be a dog fight tomorrow, and we we just got to be ready for that. They play much better at home. I mean, their numbers are super different. What, what have you seen from them on film that they do well at home? Um, they shoot the ball. Uh, Stavanovic is, you know, really getting a lot of clips up. Um, like he's the leading uh, scorer over there on, 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 at home games. Um, you know, um, their guards are playing unbelievable. Um, and you know, we just gotta we gotta be ready uh, for the ball game because it's gonna be a battle. Assuming you're still going to face guard him like you did in the last game, how do you just kind of prepare yourself for how they might try to counteract the, the way you're defending them? Uh, probably just more more screens, screening action for him. Um, just trying to get me get me caught sleeping. Um, I just got to be dialed in for 40 minutes, you know, uh, continue to stay on his hip and just not not him not let him get any, any space. How has finding a consistent rotation with the team this year just kind of helped you guys in this last stretch of games overall? Oh, it's been really helpful. Uh, we, we do it in practice, so, you know, we, we've kind of got the, the the pace pace down for it. We know when, when Allen and Trey come in, come in you know, we, we know where we're, we're going to get out of those guys. Uh, they, they always bring a lot of energy off the bench, and that's what we need. So uh, our rotation is, is great right now, and um, Coach will not change that uh, just based off, you know, how, how we're doing right now. Coach said this is the most comfortable he's felt with a rotation here in this time at Illinois. Um, same amount of time that you've been here, would you say the same thing about that? For sure. I mean, Coach just he doesn't care about uh, who starts. Um, you know, he's just gonna he's just gonna find find five guys that you know that that works really well together and put them out on the court. Uh, it's more about the bench. You know, we need we when we start the game. You know, we need guys that's gonna come off the bench and bring that same energy and bring that same toughness out there to help us. You know. Keep that league and just uh, keep, keep continue to defend. Trey, you kind of got out to a slow start offensively, but your your defense has been just spectacular all year. How have you kind of felt that that balance kind of start to come back now that you know your offensive game is kind of starting to match that defense? Uh, just being more aggressive. Uh, you know, coach needed that for me, so um, he, you know, and that's what I need to do. Um, I thought I've done a great job. You know, just just balancing. You know, just taking good good shots. Uh, but like you said, yeah, um, I just got to continue to be, be more aggressive and just take the shots that I practice every day. 
Where's the chemistry right now with you and I? Because it seems like no matter who has the ball right now, you guys are always connected right now. Um, it starts in practice. I mean, uh, me and him, you know, we always take turns playing off the ball. You know, we we put we set each other up at uh, what we're best at. You know, um, I'll run point. You know, he's really really tremendous in transition. So. Um, I always tell him to get out. You know, I pitch it ahead to him. And he's, you know, he's really elite in transition. Dre as well. You know, um, but uh, me and you know me and Io, we, we we've gotten really close this year. So we know we know a lot about each other now uh, than we would have last year. So um, our con- connectivity is, is is through the roof right now. So we just got to continue to stay together as a team and continue to get better. When you say you're more connected, has that happened off the court and that translates to on the court? For sure. You know, we always guys are always together. I mean, it, it starts in the in the gym. You know, we've. This whole break, there, there wasn't a day we took off, you know. Everyone was in the gym just getting extra shots in after practice. Uh, everyone was watching film. Um, I mean, just, just incredible things, you know, just to help this team get better. Um, you know, everyone's together, and they're buying in what Coach really wants, and that's, what, that's why we're so successful right now. Trent, you had five guys reach double figures against Northwestern. How was balanced scoring like that an asset to a team? Uh, it makes it hard for, the, you know, another team to guard, you know. They don't know who to stop. Because all five guys can put the ball in the hoop. Um, that's just our offense, you know. The coach, the coach put, all, put us out there, you know. Everyone can score the ball. Um, I think the biggest thing for us is we've got to continue to guard. You know, I didn't think we do, did a great job at, with Northwestern guard, defending. Uh, but uh, tomorrow we we got to do a better job with that. So, George added a couple jumpers, and I think he made a three against Northwestern. How does him stretching out uh, his game a little bit and adding that jumper as a threat help him? Uh, I mean, he has a lot of confidence. I mean, he shoots a thousand balls after practice and before practice. Uh, you know, uh, every time he shoots it, you know, whether he makes it or miss, I always tell him to keep shooting because he, you know, he puts in the work and he puts in the effort. So, I mean, when guys like that who puts those minute shots up, they got to be able to shoot those balls every time with confidence. Thanks, man. Who, who did your hair? Hmm? Who did your hair? My barber. It's tight. It's really nice. Yeah. <laughs>